throw your bucket in. Yeah, throw your bucket in. Now that is a beautiful morning. But first, the most important thing of the day, coffee. Oh yeah. Now we can go film. What we got here is uh, what's called an IM or infiltrator style 1530, which tells us the size. This tank in particular holds 5,800 liters. It's Works got three like, ports, eh? Three, three yeah. top holes? Yeah, so it's a two compartment tank. You'll have a middle baffle in here which will have a settling compartment and then a, a draining compartment with just water. So what's the purpose of the pump chamber? What's the purpose of the pump tank? You're going to have a pump chamber when your septic bed is higher than your pipe coming into the septic tank so that it can't flow through gravity. Therefore, it needs to be pumped. So it's just a concrete tank? <laughs> concrete tank holds 450 liters, has a pump and a couple floats and as the floats go up and down as the effluent goes up and down the pump turns on and off doses the bed uh, this is a little electrical junction box to bring all your electrical connections into to get the pump firing up nice and easy to install rather like putting these things in they all come pre-plumbed pre-wired and everything by the company we get them through so we'll be doing that today Okay. So this right here is the old tank. Uh, as you guys can see on that end and there, this is the top of it and it's kind of currently caving in. So what we're gonna do is take it, smash it all in, and then we're leaving it, right? Yeah, so we're gonna leave it because it's so close to the house. Yeah, so close to the house that we're gonna be leaving it here. Um, and that's totally, that's to plan. That's what you do is we smash it in and then we fill it in with septic sand. Septic sand so it gets nice and packed. Yeah. So, still waiting on pump out and stuff like that, but I just wanted to show you guys what we are doing with the old tank in case you guys are wondering what you guys do with the old one. So what we have here, guys, is we have our effluent pump. Um, it is just an effluent pump. You have sewage pumps, effluent pumps. Effluent pumps don't pump solids in any way. So this is a four-tenths horsepower pump going in our pump chamber. And the way she drops in, she's closed. There she goes. Your floats go up and down in accordance to your fluid level, which turns the pump on and off. And your other float, your higher float here is a high water alarm to let you know if your pump's not working, it'll buzz you and let you know that it needs to be serviced. So here comes the honey wagon. That's what they call it, the name on the back, honey wagon. It's a pumper truck, pumps out sewage. It's a beautiful truck. And shout out to Ron's Pumping. We use them for everything. If you live in the Ottawa area and you need uh, any type of pumping done to your system, Ron's Pumping. They do great work. Their number and stuff is uh, on the back of their truck. Basically, what you guys can see here, that's all uh, sewage that comes from your house. So that top kind of thick layer, you'll see whenever he starts to uh, pump it, you guys will see that top layer move. That's called a scum layer. It's probably about that thick. And that's the sign of uh, healthy bacteria in your tank is when you have that scum layer. And you see how it's kind of separated into different parts, so your solids, Everything goes into one side and then your solids kind of stay in one and then your liquids transfer over through a baffle into another side of the tank. So you guys will see when he starts pro prodding it here. That's what it, what, just what it looks like. It's a little gross, but you get used to it. Cody's gonna smash up this tank now. Yes, he's using the landscape bucket. I know that you guys are gonna say you should be using a tooth bucket, but this thing's gonna break up really easy and for loading out purposes, that's why we're using that bucket. So don't hate on in the comments.
All right, so Cody uh, ended up filling in, crushing and filling in successfully of the old septic tank. And where Kenny kind of is standing is the uh, outlet for the house. So it'll be the inlet for our tank. So that's what they had to locate there. So we're gonna bring it out. We're gonna come out to here and then Cody's gonna start uh, the new septic tank excavation somewhat in this area. Uh, so we'll mount that up and we'll get that on camera, him digging the new hole, and then we'll drop the, uh, the new septic tank in. We'll get some shots of all that. Hopefully it goes good. Hopefully we don't hit rock or any other kind of thing like that. There's always one thing when we're installing tanks is we're wondering, you know, what kind of material, but that's why you have analysis done beforehand. Area of excavation for new tank. Absolutely. All right, so remember the last scene where I just said, hopefully we don't hit rock? Well, now everyone's mad at me because we just hit rock. <laughs> if you go down here and look at this, right there. That's bedrock. Bedrock isn't a type of rock that you can just kind of peel up. So uh, Corey's trying to work out his grades right now to see. I think it's looking like this is no gut. So I think we might have to hole ram it. Minimum okay, so problem solved. We need to get something that breaks rock here. Yeah. All right, let's make a call. Thanks. He did that Friday and the squirrels ate half of the bag. <laughs> Gotta eat healthy. This is a good protein. No, I probably feel that. All right, so what we're doing now is we're thinking that we found a one little kind of section, what you guys just saw. We think that there's a spot where we can at least grab up a bit with the tooth bucket. So Cody's gonna switch buckets right now and uh, see if we cannot pull up on that. If not, I'm getting a uh, whole ram guy on standby right now in case he needs to come here and break rock for us. Right in there. Right, in there. right on the tip, hey? Right on the tip. <laughs> <laughs> Where he is right there. Nice. Oh, I get it. First things first, a little bit of coffee. Fun fact, Corey never actually used to drink coffee. He used to drink French vanillas. So as you can see, that's something that we used to bug him about. But now we got him addicted to caffeine, so it's all good. Lots of chest hair coming through. Yeah, oh yeah. It's like a rug. Yeah, yeah tons. It's really hot. <laughs> oh, really? Let's go check on Corey, see what he's up to. Corey, what are you doing? Ripping bedrock rock by hand. It's always stays in good shape. Oh yeah? So Corey's flattening out an area right now for the septic tank that it's going to sit on. Yeah, giving Cody a visual of how deep I want to go to smooth this out, pull the sharp rocks out, plastic tank. Don't really want that stuff inside. So the tank, we got lifting straps over here. We're gonna lift it up and I'll get tons and tons of footage of this. Uh, Cause this is a bigger tank. And uh, we'll drop it in here and then backfill around it. And you guys will get to see how we do that. Ah. Oh. Come to us. 
So now that the tank's in, what Corey's doing is he's hooking up the inlet from the house. So the main thing when you're doing these is always to make sure that the back fill underneath that pipe so it doesn't uh, create any sagging. Okay, so Corey, what you guys are just watching right now, Corey's about to, uh, he just got everything adjusted for the base of the pump tank. It's about to get lifted in here now. So he's just, again, same thing as the septic tank, going down, making sure that it's perfectly level on the centimeter. Um, this stuff like this can't be really out at all. Uh, so it needs to be exact. So here's the guys here, and we'll get some shots of that going in. Pump tank's in. Yeah, 100%, dude. Okay, so I extend that down about a foot. What this does, this goes on your inlet. It allows your f pump running down through here, coming from your house, to go below your crust line that develops on your tank, as well as it gives it an air space to allow air behind water to keep everything flowing nicely. I extend this out a little bit just to get a little more into that crust. That's what these are for. These are very important on tanks. Very, very, very important. So, Corey, these new poly lock lids, what, uh, what's your verdict on them? Do you like them? Because I think sometimes poly lock and infiltrator, they need a little bit of feedback on their stuff. I like, I like the snap-on lids. There's a couple features that I dislike about them. Um, basically, if I was adding another six inches or a foot on top of this riser, the other riser flips upside down. These are for the lid, right? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Right? Doesn't matter. Oh, the, right? the hex bolts are for the lid. Yeah. Just grab the D-box screws. Uh, this taper that's, that's to the riser, if I added another one because it has to be flipped upside down, the taper comes in, which causes the lid to overhang quite a bit. I can actually show you, here. Your lid overhangs. I don't like that design because then homeowners run over them with their lawnmowers and tend to break this ridge if it doesn't get packed right solid underneath it. That's really the only thing I dislike about them. Very seldomly do we go more than a foot, so it's very rare that that becomes an issue. But other than that, they work great, they're easy to work with, they're simple to put on. I do like them. Alright, we're back. 
So, uh, what Corey's doing, Corey's in there right now. Cody's just gone to go get something to eat. But you guys just saw, we got the pump tank in. Everything's good there. So what Corey's doing now, now we can start to backfill. He got that hooked up. Um, well, I went through a whole memory card, so I was exporting the footage from this morning when he was hooking that up, but it's honestly the same as before. A couple pipes, put them together. Um, so he's gonna start backfilling this here now. So let's do that. what I meant to you guys by uh, packing out underneath basically what we're doing here so I mean Kenny we're doing we're stomping down with our feet underneath about I don't know every shovel full even because the main thing over time is if you got these lines and you don't pack underneath or with good material over time you'll get a sag in that just from the weight of the material being on top so you always always have to make sure that you're packing uh, packing enough underneath your pipe Nobody likes a saggy pipe. <laughs> All right, so I'm waiting for Cody to get back with my lunch. And then uh, we'll finish up the rest of this backfill. Get it backfilled. They'll dig their trench out to the bed. Basically what comes on the end of this force main. Force main will come out into uh, the D box, distribution box for the system into pipes that then bring it out into the individual lines. There's two two runs here. So there's one run there, one run there. So you have two pipes coming out from your D box, distribution box, which I've shown before, but I'll show you guys here. That's a D box here. So it sits in the ground like that. And then you got your, comes in here and then it goes out to your runs, out to your runs. And then you got clean, uh, clean wastewater then, clean gray water. So clean you can drink it. That's what they say, but I don't know if I would or not. All right, so in this pump tank here, as you guys can see, it goes down into here. You have your different floats and then you're out. And then this section right here, all this is, this is just an electrical box. So you'll have your conjunction box in here, your power and everything gets fed in through here. And then this all gets sealed. Um, with electrical putty so that water can't get in and all these risers that we're installing here today they have seals underneath them so that when you screw them in they're watertight uh, so that water over the years or any moisture or anything can't get inside of them and ruin the electrical components inside as well as for the tank it allows so that no groundwater rainwater anything like that goes into your tank and then fills up your tank more than uh, it needs to be and then overflowing your uh, your bed with uh, added flow you need <laughs> trading my apprentice my young padawan for all these other words as you would say uh, this is kind of a city operation <laughs> yeah. but no he is he's showing cody how to do this stuff whenever he's not here but uh, that's the black stuff that i was telling you guys about that'll seal the risers it's no. like gasket lovely to work with when it's hot yeah Get stuck all in your fingers. Oh, now we got three guys here. Oh, there's Kenny. And you've got someone to hold it, someone to, you know, place it, and then. Huh? Rip it off. You got too much. Eat the rest. Oh, you would. 
<laughs> 500 likes and Cody will eat a whole roll of this stuff. <laughs> You're gonna say that because we, we were getting the likes. Yeah, I know. You got a backflip. I, I know, I know. I gotta got do the backflip. Yeah, I got it lots. I gotta do. Keep picking up your garbage. Oh, here's a bunch of them screws. Oh, well, these are all the screws for the lids. We got one. I have a one. You old bag. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, nice angle. <laughs> That's a money shot right there. <laughs> we got more shots of Cody. <laughs> Here we are, we're having way too much fun on Monday. Monday, we're supposed to be miserable. Yeah, we should be not having fun right now. We should be pissed off. We <laughs> should be not. telling each other to F off. Because we all love our job. Yeah. Just when the camera's on, like when the camera's off though, <laughs> we hate our jobs. <laughs> Digging on my knees. That'll be good in slow mo. <laughs> That'll be good. Whoa, overcut. Oh, you almost got my GoPro. <laughs> my GoPro. <laughs> my GoPro. <laughs> Watching my GoPro. Where's the lubrication? Okay, things are getting backfilled here still. Corey's looking busy. Oh wow. Oh professional. Nobody come steal my employee Corey. Okay, so this got all backfilled. I mean they're just about done. We got we're gonna bring it up to uh but what about four inches below the red the green? Yeah. About so four inches below the green top. Uh Cody is now back in the shovel. Ken had enough of it. So yeah, basically they're doing that, and then what they're gonna start on next, um, that will might splice out and do that in another video, um, is they're gonna connect the actual forest main to the, and install the D-box, and uh, make it all good. Got some sand stuck in the tracks, that's why it makes that noise. But that was pretty much uh, the installing process of throwing the tank in. The guys did an awesome job of that as well as the pump tank. It all went as planned, uh, as per spec. So basically what's left now is them to backfill everything on the entire site. And then tomorrow there will be topsoiling and then we get final inspection and we're all done. We're all good. And we carry on from there. So. Hopefully you guys learned something today, valuable. I'm hoping that you guys did. Uh, I like showing these kind of different angles, different kind of scenarios, different jobs. So leave a comment down below if you do it the same way or if you do it in kind of a different way. But other than that, I'm gonna head back, upload this footage, edit it, make sure what we got is good. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming along. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. And no, I didn't forget about you guys, the true pages of channel that are watching the entire video to the very end, which is right now. And if you are one of those true patriots, I want you to comment down below in the comment section, backfill it. Because that's basically what we're saved we're at right now. And when anything happens on site like that, we always make a joke about it and say, ah, just backfill it. So comment down below, backfill it. If you watch the entire video, I appreciate it. Thank you guys. Stay tuned. We'll catch you on the next one.